my conversion to Christ, how I learned the power of the name of Jesus. I was in the university when I met a girl by the name of Bridget, when I saw her, I fell in love with her, I tried to dominate her because I had a pentacle of domination, I just had to hold her hand and also hold my parchment containing the pentacle, but when I was trying to dominate her, she said, in the name of Jesus and she pulled her hand back, I said, why are you using the name of Jesus? I am not a demon, I had to pretend that I was innocent, this attempt of domination did not work, then I came again for the second time with another strategy, I came with a sweet that I worked upon mystically in order to bewitch her but she would not take the sweet telling me that she was fasting, I begged her but she refused, she said, I might eat it if I were not fasting, later I managed to get hold of one of her photos, I wanted to cause her to dream that she is having sex with me, I wanted it to be a dream of love and sex, actually, the siren Magdalene or Jacqueline is the secret holder of this love technique, this siren gave me a pentacle of love in order to cause women to fall in love with me, so I drew a mystical triangle, I lighted up the candles on the corners of the triangle and I placed the photo of Bridget inside that triangle, then I began to do concentration and visualization, actually I had to look at Bridget's photo and I had to think specific thoughts, in this case, thoughts of love or sex and I had to transmit these thoughts in that photo, this is called telepathy or transmission, I was contemplating the photo of Bridget and I was talking to her in my thoughts, I said in my heart, I and you Bridget are in love, we are going to the beach, we are kissing each other and having sex, while I was saying this in my thoughts, my eyes were focused on the photo of Bridget, actually, I was transferring my thoughts in the mind of Bridget who was supposed to receive those thoughts in the form of a dream, she was supposed to dream the words that I was saying in my thoughts, this technique is done while the target is asleep so that she can dream of those thoughts, this is one of the techniques of spiritual marriage, any witch capable of going out of his body can be a spiritual husband and wife, after doing this telepathy. I thought she was dreaming of my thought but I ended up dreaming all the things I was trying to transmit to her, when I went to school, I tried to question Bridget in order to check whether she dreamed that sexual dream or not but she made clear to me that she did not dream of me, I was shocked to hear that, all the strategies I was using against this lady were not working, actually, this lady was in Christ but she did not know that I was laying traps against her, then I came with a new strategy. I bewitched my own money, when I met Bridget, we went to a restaurant, I ordered some cakes and drinks for her and we ate with her friends, but when I was about to pay the money that I bewitched, suddenly it's like Bridget regained consciousness, suddenly Bridget said, you don't need to pay for me, just pay for my friends, I will pay for myself, I was surprised, I said, I am the one who invited you, why are you stopping me from paying for you? Bridget said, I can pay for myself, you don't have to exhaust your finance for me, beloved, you have to understand that spiritually, money is blood, you should not use the money of a person you don't trust or you don't know, in many notes of the world, you will see occultic signs and symbols, that is why the American dollar has more power than other money notes because these signs and symbols that are occultic contain demons, it will be difficult for other money notes to dethrone it, when someone gives you money pray over it, money can buy your soul if you are not prudent and you will die and become a servant spirit because, in the spirit world, they are always in need of human spirits, I was wondering how come this lady is escaping all my traps, there must be a power enabling her to escape my traps, I decided to use one last strategy, the last strategy against Bridget was the strategy of a sparrow, I had to draw a love pentacle, this was a circle with a heart and an arrow sign and a goblet of blood, I was supposed to write my name and that of Bridget in that pentacle using human blood, the arrow in the pentacle of love is called the injured heart, this pentacle of love belongs to Princess Jacqueline, the lady of love, the goddess of the toilet, she is also called Magdalene or the chance of love, I was supposed to draw this pentacle on a parchment, despite writing this lady's name inside the pentacle of love, I was supposed to get something belonging to her like her footmark on the sand, her hair, nails, or handkerchief containing her sweat, the following day after eating in a restaurant with Bridget, 
I was trying to walk behind her in order to collect her footprint, I was walking behind Bridget in order to get her footprint but to my surprise, I saw Bridget's feet walking in the air, her feet were not touching the ground, I was surprised, I said to myself that she must be connected to the demons of space, maybe the queen of the south or the queen of heaven, actually, occultists who walk in the air have covenanted with space spirits, so I called the queen of the south in the first heaven, I said, I know you are protecting this woman but I am not trying to kill her, I just loved her, the queen of the south said, I don't know this woman you are talking about, this answer got me confused, then I called the queen of heaven, Mary Marguella, she replied she doesn't know Bridget, I said to the queen of heaven, this woman is walking in space, she must be protected by heavenly entities, you and the queen of the south are supposed to know because you are the sovereigns of the heavens, I thought that the life of Bridget was hidden in the heavenlies by a space siren but I was surprised by the response of the queen of the south and the queen of heaven, the bible says in Colossians 3 to 3, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God, beloved, the life of Bridget was hidden in Christ in heavenly places, this happens when we are baptized in the body of Christ and we were grafted into the body of Christ that is seated in the heavenly places far above all powers, I was confused, I wondered where is the life of this woman, I felt defeated and humiliated, I had tears in my eyes as I exhausted all the techniques, after the failure to get Bridget's footprints, I felt that I was finished and humiliated as all my strategies have failed, then I held Bridget's hand and I said, Bridget, you know I love you but why are you refusing me? Bridget replied, I have a principle, I cannot marry an unbeliever, I replied, I was baptized and I got my first communion, I attend the Catholic Church, Bridget said, Catholicism is just religion but it is not true Christianity, then I asked Bridget, which world are you from? She replied, what do you mean by world? Then I asked her again, which occultic science power protect you? She was surprised, she said, I am a born again believer, I could not accept that I have failed against Bridget just because she is a Christian, then I thought about a church I dislocated, I thought about a pastor that I drowned in a baptism ceremony, I said in my heart if it is about the church, then I will get her, later Bridget invited me to her church on a Wednesday. I answered her invitation without hesitation as I wanted to please her but it was when they began to sing songs of worship and calling the Holy Ghost fire to come down that I began to feel uncomfortable and I began to sweat, I said, there are negative vibrations in this place, I was a Satanist, I did not know the power and the presence of God so I was calling it negative vibrations, in fact, I felt like I was around a furnace, I was very uncomfortable and sweating, actually, I was walking with 21 protective demons and more than 42 transporter spirits. They were stationed at the gate of the church, I tried to call them but they were not answering, the communication line was cut, as I was uncomfortable, I stood up and I went to the toilet, every toilet is a magical postal service, when I got there, I began to invoke the toilet lady, Princess Jacqueline or Magdalene but she was not answering, then I thought about shapeshifting to an ant but at that moment, I heard a voice saying to me, you may be stuck in that state of ant forever, do not transform yourself, I was stunned and I found it strange, I could not know who was talking to me, I gave up the idea of turning into an ant, I left the church early to avoid the presence of God that I was calling negative vibrations, after my departure, Jesus said to the intercessors to pray because a man that is deeply in occultism has come to church and is coming again next Friday, Jesus said to them, the occultic man will come on Friday, you must pray so that I can save him, all this was happening after I left the church. Bridget even heard that prophecy but she could not know the identity of that person, then on Thursday, I met Bridget, she came to my place for the first time in order to invite me to church, she asked, why did you leave early last time? I lied that I had a stomach pain, actually, Bridget was inviting me to a night vigil prayer and because I wanted to please her, I seized the opportunity, before going to that vigil prayer, I entered in my temple and I did conjuring, as a result, 21 protective spirits and 42 transporter spirits appeared, I said to them, the last time I attended that church, 
I was trying to contact you but I could not, I was burning like in the furnace, I said, I am to attend a night vigil prayer at night in order to please a woman but I am not interested in their prayers, so do not disappoint me, they said, you can go, we will be with you, they gave me assurance but even demons do not know the future, when I was heading to the church, a spider web on the street caught me on the face, I said to myself, in mysticism, this is a bad sign, so I went back home, I invoked Lucifer himself in order to hear his advice and his view, when he appeared, I said, I am going to a church to please a woman, once she accepts me, I will not go there anymore, but on the street, a spider web caught me, I am wondering whether I should go or not? The last time I went there, I was overwhelmed by negative vibrations, all the spirits were unable to answer my call, Lucifer said to me, you can go, if you are disturbed by negative vibrations again and if the demons are not responding to you, just call me, I will intervene, this was an encouragement to me, then I went to see Bridget, in fact, I have never attended a night vigil before, I was a bit curious, Bridget gave me a new testament and we were heading to the church, I was in constant contact with demons, I was always accompanied by demons like other satanists, when we arrived at the gate of that church, I told my demons, you will begin by attacking the protocol in case there is a problem inside, when I entered the church, I told the demons to stay at the gates, anyway, demons always stay at the gate, they don't enter unless it is a dead church, I told them, when there is a problem, I will call you in, I sat not far from Bridget, my eyes were constantly on her, even a protocol noticed that and he came to tell me to concentrate but I rebuffed him, as the service was going on, at a certain point I began to summon the demons to join me inside the church, immediately the man that was leading the prayer said, I can feel an evil presence here, we must stand up to call fire because we are under heavy attack, this was the beginning of the confrontation. The church stood up in order to exercise authority, as a result, I began to feel negative vibrations again, I mean, the presence of God, when the church took authority, they reached a level where they were all speaking in an unknown tongue. There was God's presence, my worst nightmare happened again, the 21 protective demons and 42 transporter demons were not responding to my conjuring, there was no longer any communication, I was panicking. Then I looked up in space to check Lucifer but he dwells in the fifth heaven and there was no contact, I said, I could not stay here as I could not bear the vibration, I was uncomfortable, then I stood up in order to get the demonic spirits at the gate, it was while I was moving between the two columns of believers that something unpredictable happened, everything became dark, I could not see the light, only darkness, then I lost equilibrium, I began to fall, I shouted. I was about to fall on the ground, when I was about to hit the ground, I did a yoga position called the bridge, when the intercessors and the protocols saw this spectacle, they surrounded me, they began to attack me with the name and blood of Jesus and holy fire, I tried to shape shift to an ant or a fly but it did not work, I had the power of metamorphosis but on that day it did not work, then I began to make the noises of all the beasts and animals I ever transformed myself into. I was on the ground moving like a snake, I was crawling on the ground like a serpent, I made movements of all kinds of animals, then the man of God ordered me to be immobilized, as a result, I fell flat on the ground like a dead man in a subconscious state, but while I was lying there unconscious, the intercessors continued to pray warfare prayers, then I saw my spirit lying on a red carpet, in fact, all the satanists have that red carpet where they do the invocation incantation, and conjuring, they either kneel or sit on that red carpet, I was laying there on the red carpet in a state of unconsciousness, then I saw two demonic entities around my body, one was standing around my feet and the other was standing around my head and he was holding a sword, the demon standing around my feet was ordering the one around my head who was holding a sword, we are sent here with a specific order to execute him for fear he may reveal hidden secrets about our kingdom execute him. Decapitate him. The demon holding the sword replied, something is not right, this man belongs to us but he has the sign of the blood on his forehead, he said, this man belongs to us but how come he has the sign of the blood on his forehead? This should not be, beloved, 
without the sign of the blood of Jesus on my forehead, I would have been executed, what is incredible is that at this stage, I have not yet received Jesus in my heart, this was Jesus' sovereign love, then the other demon insisted and said, just execute him like that. The demon with the sword replied to his colleague and said, we do not execute the people who have the blood on their foreheads, as they belong to the other camp, they don't belong to us, they are protected, the demon said, if I dared, I wouldn't be able to execute him, if I lift my hand and sword, I would be stopped, it was when these demons were debating that a third person arrived and landed on the carpet, he stood in the middle of the carpet between the two demonic creatures, he was dressed in shining white and he was looking at my body with concern and compassion but when he looked at these demons, it was with anger, then the demons asked the man, who are you? But the man was not answering them, they insisted, who are you to come here? We are sent to execute a mission, are you with us or against us? The man replied, I am neither for you nor against you, I am here to protect him, the demons asked him again, who are you? Before replying to these demons, this man opened his arms, then I saw blood coming out of the injuries on the palms of his two hands, I saw blood coming out of his side and out of his feet, blood was flowing and forming a pool and covering the carpet where I was laying down, then I saw the demons stepping back like they were afraid of this blood that was gathered in a pool of about 40 to 50 meters in diameter, they were standing back from it. They flew over the blood to execute me and to stop me from revealing their secrets, I saw them flying above the blood but the man said to them, stop. As a result, they were immobilized, then the demons asked the man again, who are you? The man said, I am Jesus Christ, he was about to say, of Nazareth when these demons flew away, immediately, I woke up from my state of unconsciousness and I realized that I was still surrounded by intercessors praying, when I woke up, an intercessor began to reveal my secret, she said, this man has baggage and inside it, there are many magical stuff like crystal balls, magic wand and the magic books, she said, the power of these items are destroyed but some of them must be collected and destroyed, then this intercessor said to the other intercessors, go to his place, get all the books and all the magic stuff, bring them to church, secondly, she said, you got to get this man to receive Jesus Christ in his heart, thirdly, the intercessor said to me, the Lord is saying that Lucifer will come to you and he will ask you to offer him twelve people, do not give him a name, God has clothed you with power and he has given you a weapon, I said to myself in my heart, how come this woman knows all my secrets, I will show her, then the intercessor answered my thought and she said, brother, there is nothing you can do against me for the one in me is stronger, this intercessor knew what I was thinking, automatically, I said to myself, to do this, I was using the crystal ball or the magic mirror but what did she do to develop this perception and facility? Then the intercessor answered my thought again, she said, brother, if you come to Christ, you will be like me, you will hear the voice of Jesus and you will see visions but I am giving you a guarantee. The devil will ask for twelve people, do not give any names of your family members or anyone else, but I tell you. He is coming to pay you a visit, when he appears, use the name of Jesus as a weapon, in my heart, I said, I thought they were giving me a real weapon but they were talking about the name of Jesus, then the intercessor replied to my thought and said, brother, do not doubt this, the name of Jesus Christ is a weapon. This intercessor was answering all my thoughts as if I was using my mouth but I was thinking and she was reading all my thoughts, after deliverance prayer, I changed clothes as I got dirty when I was rolling on the ground, I said, this intercessor is right, the devil will come after me, she managed to mention all the magic instruments that were in my bedroom, the intercessors asked me, brother, what is your final decision? I said. I have to receive Jesus Christ, let's do it, on that day, I received Jesus Christ and I confessed my sins, then I said to the intercessors, Lucifer will come as you prophesied and as some of you are going to get my magic stuff, I would like to ask some of you to stay at my place to help me deal with him, the intercessors said to me, don't be afraid, just use the name of Jesus when he comes and you will see the result, then I went home with the intercessors, they got all the books and magic stuff, 
We had to enter by the back door because I did not want my uncle to know that I was in Satanism, then the intercessors left, when it was night, I began to pray and sing the songs of praise, then I dozed off and slept, just when I slept for a few minutes, I felt the earth shaking, I woke up, afterward, I felt a powerful wind in the neighborhood, I knew this was the coming of Lucifer, a few minutes later, the door of my bedroom opened by itself. I sat on the bed and then Lucifer entered my bedroom, immediately after entering my room, he said, you have betrayed me, you went to this church although I forbade you, I reacted with anger in my heart because Lucifer told me to go to that church and to call him if there is a problem but when I called him, he failed to come. He noticed that I got angry. He was surprised and he said, I can see that you are angry but what can you do against me, you cannot resist me, when he said that. I heard the voice of the intercessor replaying in my spirit and saying, Lucifer will come, he will intimidate you, he will ask you for twelve people, do not give in but use the name of Jesus as it is a weapon, I was strengthened in my spirit while this voice was speaking, Lucifer said, I understand that you are still a child, otherwise, you would not tolerate to let all the powers I gave you to vanish for the sake of a church, I am willing to renew my covenant with you. I was listening to Lucifer and waiting for him to mention the twelve people as prophesied by the intercessor, then I could proceed in using the name of Jesus Christ but I need confirmation, I was not sure yet, then Lucifer said, I know you are placing your trust in this so called church and so called people of God, then he made a gesture with his hand, as a result, a monitor appeared and I saw the church where I got delivered on the screen, then Lucifer said, these people are my people. Then a voice said to me, these people on the screen are copies, they are not real, then I said in my heart, if these were Lucifer's people, how come I was humiliated like that? I fell on the ground in that church and I was rolling on the ground in front of everybody like a pig, in fact, when I fell on the ground and rolling around like a pig in front of everybody, all the demons ran away, why did Lucifer fail to come to that church if he is really what he claims to be? When Lucifer said to me, I can renew my covenant with you and return all the power you lost but you must offer twelve people, then I stood from my bed with anger because I had the confirmation of things predicted by the intercessor, Lucifer was surprised when I stood up, he said, you think you can really do something against me. Then he said, I am counting up to four, you have to start giving me names, but I was animated by spiritual anger. It was when Lucifer counted up to three that I shouted the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately I saw Lucifer losing his equilibrium, when I saw this, I said he must have felt something so there is real power in the name of Jesus, this increased my faith and determination, I shouted again, in the name of Jesus Christ. As a result, I saw a force projecting Lucifer out of my room. He ended up in the courtyard of our compound. I said I have to get him out of our compound, then I used the name of Jesus Christ again, as a result, he was projected again out of the compound onto the street, then he said to me, I will not leave you, you shall see, you are using that name against me, time will tell, I got the courage to answer him, if you come again after me, I will use the name of Jesus Christ against you, how can you ask me for twelve people? When I went to the church, you said you would come and support me, why did you not come and you want to blame me for what happened? But Lucifer continued to threaten me, I continued to shout at him, if you come after me, I will use the name of Jesus Christ against you, while this was happening, our doorkeeper was already shouting to people in the compound saying that I had become crazy, that I was talking to myself, then my uncle and people in the compound gathered around me, I did not mind them. I continued to argue with Lucifer, in the meantime, my family was talking and resolving to grab me and transport me to the hospital because I was intense when I was confronting Lucifer, I then said to them, I am not crazy but I cannot tell you what is happening to me, then my uncle said to the doorman, we have to grab him and bind him so that we can transport him to the hospital, I had to cool down in order to convince my family that I was not crazy but I argued so much with Lucifer that they were convinced that I was mentally deranged as they were persistent, they were really determined to grab me and bind me but I managed to run away to church, it was when they all came to church that they were explained the whole thing in the wisdom of God, 